How are we doing guys? It's only me. Right, it's another beer review and today I'm doing one from Big Banana Brewing. He kindly sent me a couple of his beers, um, the Brown Bag IPL and the 14 Day IPL. Um, I thought they've been here a couple of weeks now, two, three weeks. At least I can do is do the pleasure of uh, trying them off, I suppose. Right, so what we've got, we've got the Brown Bag IPL, and in the notes that he sent me with it, it's saying this is basically an IPA fermented with lager yeast at lager temperatures. Came out far higher in alcohol than intended, hence the name, Brown Bag. Um, it was originally supposed to be an attempt at a quick lager, but the high OG meant that it wasn't going to happen. In total, it was in it was four weeks before bottling, which is still quite quick. Um, the taste is perhaps too clean, as there is a definite taste of alcohol, which is a 45 IBUs struggle to uh, disguise. And in this, he put pale malt, carapils, uh, bitted with Aurora, late editions of Cascade and Muteca. Dry hopped with SARS, Cascade, Cahoto, S23 yeast. <coughs> so I'm expecting some kind of floral, um, citrusy type, fruity, grapefruit kind of beer. Okay. Ale. Does it call it an ale? IPA ale? Imperial lager? Don't know. Let's try it, shall we? me xbox all right it's a uh, nice label weighs in at 7.1 percent bottle on the 7th of october 2016 it's been in my garage um so it's kind of below room temperature but not too cold and not too warm oh, i've got a good hiss there hmm Kind of getting. Oh, 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 oh. Got a tickle on the end of the nose there, caught me out. Let's give it a pour, shall we? Um, oh, that's a cascade of Muteca. Can't remember what else you've won for. Let's give that a sec. So, hard. so there's definitely a uh, floral kind of fruity aroma going on with that. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll just pause that a minute. Uh, right, I'm not going to put it all in because it's kicked a little bit of the yeast up. So, <coughs> it's quite well carbonated, I'm not sure if you can see that on this camera. Um, it's quite a large head on there. Three fingers. Um, you've got close to medium and then quite large head at the top. But we don't mind that. So Oh man, yeah, a lot of aroma there. Definitely getting the uh the herbal floral kind of zest of fruity kind of aroma yeah I like the smell of that it smells really nice I need tumble dryer again it's giving me the death so yeah I mean okay the head's a bit you know high on it but let's give it a try shall we Hmm. That's quite nice that. Straight away you're getting like grapefruits and things. Um a very fruity kind of taste to it. Um there is a slight alcohol twinge, but nothing that I find that's you know affecting the taste. I think it's quite reasonably well balanced. 
Um, it's got a nice mouth feel. I was expecting to be a bit thinner with it being like a kind of going through like a lager, but now it's quite well <coughs> balanced. Um, carbonated quite a lot, but I can get my nose in there. Yeah, you're definitely getting the cascade in the the stars. Grapefruit. Not that grapefruit, is it? Yeah, grapefruit. Like a lemon. All them kind of fruits that you know, citrusy type fruits. It's definitely there. It's uh, smells smells really nice. It's going down quite well as well. Um, yeah, I kicked a little bit of the old um, yeast, but it wasn't for that. It would have been, well, it would have been a cracking colour. It would have been a nice golden mahogany type colour to it now, but it would have been a lot more clear and golden if the uh, the yeast hadn't kicked up. But I'm not bothered about that. I'm really enjoying this. I'm going to tip the rest in anyway, sod it. There you go. Stop. There you go. If any of the misses do as you're told. Yeah, it's got a big head on it. Who cares about that? Yeah, so I'm really enjoying that. I might even have an attempt at making some of the long run lines. Um, I've got Cascade. I've got SARS. I don't know if I've got any Muteca. I did have some Aurora. And I think I might even have some S23 yeast somewhere as well. So yeah, so that's a big thumbs up for that one, mate. Um, I'm very, very appreciate it for sending me. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I think a little bit, of, a little bit less carbonation on that, and I think that'll be that'll be crack on. That'll be bang on. Um, so yeah, looking forward to trying the other one. I must say. What I do though. I won't do it today because there's such a hot presence in this. It's obviously alter my taste and thoughts of that one. I don't taste anything like this. And yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to it. So I'm going to give that a massive 7.5 out of 8 out of 10. Let's go away. I can't really say anything about the cloudiness because that's probably my pouring. So yeah, it's a good beer. Um, anybody else has got one of those? In for a treat. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, just put that just there so I don't lose it because I don't know what the other one's got in. So yeah, so look out for the next one that shall be coming up in the week. Oh dear, a bit carbonation. <coughs> oh. um, so yeah, a big thank you um, for the recent B emails I've had from various people. Um, We'll try and get some out before Christmas. And cheers, dudes. It was a pleasure. Thank you.